Yeah, welcome to this 500 subscriber special. In this video, I want to show you my office, basically. Um, yeah, and you already see the main desk. Um, this is the very same desk uh, which was visible in the very first video of the laptop modding adventure, which which was uh, empty, totally empty at this point because I just was moving into this office. Um, yeah, and this is my little office room. It's, it's actually very little, it, I think like seven or eight uh, square meters. This is my 3D printer. It's completely self-built. Um, yeah, there's no design files online, but yeah, one day I thought um, let's build it myself. And yeah, I designed all the carriage and stuff and the extruders. And yeah, as you can see, it's working. I, at least it's it's looking quite good, right? <laughs> and it's also working uh, really well. Um, this is my GPU test bench, which is based on a very old AMD FX processor, um, 8130, I think. Um, yeah, and it's it's there for testing GPUs, as I just said, um, because I started repairing GPUs, um, not professionally, but um, as a hobby. You know, buying defective GPUs and try to fix them. There's different methods and stuff. And no, the oven method is not a real, is not a real way to do it. But more on that, maybe in another video. Um, yeah, but let's come to the main side. So basically you see on the left side, let's start here. You can see the Rode anti-USB microphone. A lot of YouTubers used it. Um, yeah, it's working quite nicely. Um, it's got a direct USB connection and you save some equipment around it. Uh, using USB, that's really cool. Um, yeah, this is my main computer. Of course, that's an XMG Apex uh, 15, the first one with B450 chipset, RTX 2070 and um, uh, Ryzen 3700X, or 3700X, sorry. <laughs> it's a bit confusing because in German we say 3700 and uh, I think most English speaking channels say 3700. Yeah, and I also got a Ryzen 3900 CPU, so, so the 12 core CPU. But um, this is the Laptop Modeling Adventure laptop. So we can take a look inside in a moment. Um, it's connected to my 27 inch 1440p gaming monitor with 240 Hertz. I was gaming some years ago very excessively, but um, these days, to be honest, not so much because I've become a father. Um, yeah, and I want to use all my spare time for this channel, for my hobby, computer stuff, uh, GPU repair stuff. Uh, yeah, and believe me, there's not much time left. <laughs> I hope it gets better, but let's see. Yeah, and um, so, yeah, all other stuff you can see here in the background um, looks amazing, but uh, basically it's just, oops, totally not meant to do that. But basically it's just um, yeah, a setup to get some good lighting for the videos. So this is a light too, a wing light. Um, this is not a light. Basically this is a um, heat lamp. So it's ceramic lamp. Um, it got 250 watts and it's, um, yeah, it, you, can, you can heat up PCBs, for example, from top with it. Um, yeah, it's got a joint arm too. Um, yeah. This is a lamp again, and this is my uh, overhead camera, which is a Canon EOS 650D. It's quite old these days. I think it's from 2014, maybe, or 15. And yeah, and the max video resolution it got is full HD, uh, 30 FPS. So not the best, but I think it's quite okay for the videos, but I really wish to buy a new one soon. Not sure which one, not sure. How much it will cost i think maybe one one k euro <laughs> uh yeah um 4k cameras can be very expensive so not sure to be honest not sure about it so um yeah this camera is actually as i said used for all the videos overhead views um so i got a i got a gpu ship a diesel gpu ship on on here on the table that's um a GM204 ship, so it's a GTX 980 ship. And as you can see, the video resolution is, is quite okay. 
So the only thing is it's max full HD, which sucks a bit. Yeah, and as I said, I started repairing GPUs. Uh, so for example, I got this one here. This is a GTX 1070 blower style GPU, but it doesn't matter. You can exchange the cooler, of course. Yeah, and this one got liquid metal all over it. Uh, I already desoldered the revamps, all of them. They are here. I think, at least I think they are. No, these are the old ones on the GTX 980, but doesn't matter. Basically, basically that's all GDDR5. Um, and they were soldered in like this, for example. Uh, yeah, and you can desolder it with a heater. Um, I also got a hot air station here, but that's actually not good enough for desoldering that stuff. So I used the overhead heater here, 250 watts, and also this uh, basically a cooking, uh, IR cooking, camping stuff. <laughs> this one got 1.5 kilowatts. So uh, I got a lot of power to desolder this stuff. And yeah, if you reach this, uh, the melting point of the solar balls, which is 230 degrees Celsius, um, this whole thing gets desoldered and you can just pick it up. Yeah, I hope to repair this graphics card in a follow-up video. Um, I want to desolder this GPU ship, which is a GP104, so a Pascal ship, GTX 1070, as I said, and uh, we ball it using some stencils. At least I need just one stencil, but I got some. And uh, this, yeah, we solder, uh, we ball station. Yeah, it will, I hope it will be interesting for some of you. Um, yeah, this is my soldering iron. Uh, you already saw this soldering tip in one of my videos. And yeah, um, bench power supply. And that's basically it. Oh yeah, and my, my newest um, soldering iron. Oops. My newest soldering iron, which is, um, yeah, basically hot tweezers, which is really neat to, to use on uh, desoldering some components like shock resistors. You can just apply heat on both sides and lift it. Okay, and next I will show you the inside of the laptop modding adventure uh, B450 laptop um, against the new B550 chipset laptop, which is up here. Got an RTX 3070, this one an RTX 2070. Yeah, and as you can see, I was lying to you a bit. <laughs> this is actually not an XMG laptop. It's um, a Clevo model. It's the base model from Clevo. So it got the yeah stock uh, plastic lid, but basically the inside is uh, pretty much the same. So um, I just forgot one thing. <laughs> so this is my self-built laptop stand, which got the fan positioned in a way it's blowing right uh, right into the vents in the middle of the laptop. So as you can see, and this area, and also a little into the um, area here, which is the DRAM area. And as you can see, this is the laptop modeling venture uh, notebook. And this is the layout of the new XMG Apex 15 Max, uh, which is a clever, as I said. Um, and you, as you can see, um, they are basically the same. So the only thing that changed is the mainboard. All outer connections are in the same position. Um, so you can basically just exchange the uh, mainboard and you're done. And as you can see, of course, of course, um, both of them got um, the I2C uh, wires soldered to the mainboard. So um, this one was um, from the laptop modeling adventure video part two. And this one I done at the first day I got is because um, I wanted to see if anything changed on a hardware side but no it's actually the same controllers used so yeah I can read out all the sensor data from this one too so, and uh, from this one and lastly I want to talk about another time-consuming thing <laughs> which I learned in the past year or so um, yeah I was learning BIOS modding um, basically to uh, mod in some new features on the old first XMG Apex uh, with the B450 chipset um, to enable manual OC uh, from BIOS because the option is totally in there. It's uh, just locked. Um, when you unlock it, 
you get a very uh, rough experience uh, for manual C. So you got to enter some uh, VID factor and not the actual millivolts. Um, so I wanted it to make it work properly. Um, it was all, um, I, I spoke to, to XMG earlier, so we can do that together, maybe publish it uh, and, uh, on Christmas last year. Um, but unfortunately, um, the manual of C options are not resettable by a CMOS reset. So uh, all worked out great, but as soon as you enter any numbers which uh, lead to a no boot, you are screwed. The laptop is bricked, basically, or at least it's bricked with the CPU installed. So uh, no beta BIOS for you, so no release, sorry. Um, but all the skills I learned, uh, I could apply to the new B550 uh, laptop. So um, I worked together with XMG again and uh, they asked me if I could take a look at this model and uh, try to help to fix it. Because um, I don't know, maybe you've heard it already, other brands selling this laptop, uh, the clever barebone with the B550 chipset, are not working properly. They are, they are crashing sometimes, their performance is really low, or it's just an unpleasant experience. So XMG was uh, observing that themselves on their units, so they said we don't release that until it's fixed. But um, after all, it also looked like that Clevo didn't want to fix it at all. Um, I know they, they wish they could fix it, but I had the feeling they got no idea what's wrong with it. So they just kind of gave, gave up on it. Um, so it was our task uh, to, <laughs> to make it work. Um, so yeah, after all, um, we ended up with a BIOS mod, which um, enables some more options to save some power. And um, the whole fix of this laptop was not based on BIOS, actually. It's um, based on a VRM patch. So the VRM in, in this laptop is a smart VRM. It's not just um, a dumb unit, um, which is a voltage controller. It's controllable via an um, integrated configuration or software. And yeah, we had to modify this configuration, but <laughs> this configuration can't be updated via software yet. So we had to modify the main boards one by one, which is very annoying, but um, but we found a way which is easy enough to make this happen for all laptops uh, in stock. So yeah, after all, we got a modified BIOS on the new one um, and we got a rear M fixed. So I hope we are getting a GISA update soon. Um, so this uh, the, the 5800X 3D with video cache from, from AMD is actually working in this laptop. That would be really nice and it would bring this laptop to a very special position on the market um, because even if it just got an RTX 3070 but the AMD 3D cache processor inside could render this a very very useful gaming machine. Even if it's really really late in the process so the next generation is coming out soon but it actually took that long to fix the issue. And I don't know what you think, but I think it's a shame that Clevo wasn't able to do that. So we had to do it with reverse engineering. Yeah, and this should be enough for the 500 subscriber special. As you can see, I already changed the whole setup. It's uh, actually the next day. <laughs> so yeah, um, in the end, let's talk a bit about the future of this channel. As I said, I've become a dad. So uh, yeah, time for the hobbies becoming less and less. So uh, yeah, maybe I have to change my video style a bit and uh, do more short videos with less ed editing and uh, less graphs and stuff. Um, but maybe I can still um, get some modding done. Um, for example, this new B550 chipset um, laptop uh, with uh, 5950X uh, in this case, maybe I will buy a 5900X uh, next. Um, I want to actually water cool this one. So yeah, there was a laptop uh, water cooling unit coming out some months ago for um, XMG laptops and some other brands. And I think it's very unfortunate that the XMG Epic 15 did not get the option to connect it to the XMG Oasis, uh, which is the water cooler by XMG. Um, so I want to mod it myself. So I will 
try to get my hands on a defective or an old or some prototype kind heatsink with the um, water loop installed and desolder the water pipe and the connectors uh, and get it on here. Um, and as you already can see, um, there's not enough space to solder in a water pipe uh, on top of the CPU, which is under here, but uh, the GPU would be fine. But because there's no space here for additional um, connectors to the, to the um, water cooling system, I think I have to mod the backlit anyway. So maybe I will do some cutouts here and remove the rubber bar and use my 3D printer in the back um, to print out some adapter on, on this part, like some, something like a hood, maybe with some extended legs. So I can uh, actually install the water cooling system just by modifying the lid and the heatsink. So the whole base unit, the whole base frame should stay untouched, I hope. So uh, stay tuned. This is what I'm up to for the next month. <laughs> I hope it works out. I hope I can get my hands on some, uh, some of these things. So in the end, I want to thank you for subscribing. I want to thank you for watching. Um, and I'm really happy uh, that I already reached 500 subscribers or even more um, this day. So um, I kind of missed the 500 subscriber point. <laughs> it was actually like two or three months ago. So we got 570 or so um, today. Um, yeah, thank you. And there are really interesting projects coming, I hope, if I find enough time. <laughs> So, um, like the water pipe mod for the Apex, um, and also maybe a modding adventure part six with some DRAM over vaulting. So I want to reach 1.35 volts in this laptop, so we can see how much further we can improve the memory timings. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.